The demo starts by putting triple PCDs on the two head rotary machine. These tools are made to remove bulk coatings that are too difficult to remove by diamond segment. This particular floor is covered in paint overspray and other materials that have been spilled on the floor, what appears to be for over a course of years. The triple PCD is made to remove the bulk of the material quickly, though it doesn't actually grind the concrete, it is able to chip away at that topical material. Diamond segments would just heat it up and smear it, whereas the triple PCDs, they break it away in pieces. So the floor is not clean, but the bulk of the material that would slow down the grinding is removed. The process looks like grinding. The machine has moved back and forth, two passes forward and backward, uh, exactly the same as the grinding process. But again, with the PCDs, the aim is to just get that topical material removed, removed from the surface. Once that topical material is removed and all that's left is the paint residue, then the two segment 2530 diamond tools can be installed on the machine to do the actual diamond grinding or what will produce the CSP2. Depending on the thickness of the paint residue that the PCDs did not remove, also the type of material it is, which can't be known here, the time it's going to take to remove the rest of that residue is going to be variable based on the hardness of the concrete, again the thickness of the material that's left behind and also whatever the nature of that material might be. The nice part about the two segs, unlike some of the other tools and on this particular machine, is that they do get pretty close to the shroud. So depending on how much edging has to be done, these particular tools, the way they orient it on the machine or orient it on the plates as well, they do allow the machine to get pretty close and minimize the amount that would have to be hand ground. In this case, it's about a quarter of an inch from the wall. So in those two steps, this particular area had that topical material removed and then the residue removed and then vacuum ground to reveal the clean concrete. The process is repeated over the rest of the floor. This whole room is meant to be a demo room but also obviously at one time was a paint mixing room. So the amount of material that's on here is variable. It is thick in some areas and in other areas not so much. Uh, there are differing materials, different colors. Again, it's really a mixed bag of material on the floor and therefore the time it takes is really hard to predict. But the most important thing to keep in mind is that those triple PCDs are used to remove that bulk material first. And then the diamond segments are able to cut through the residue to get to the concrete surface. Next up will be some hand grinding to remove some of that bulk material. For the same reason a PCD is needed on a big machine, a PCD is installed on the hand grinder to remove some of the material in, in an area where the grinder could not get because of the floor undulations as well as underneath what appears to be a bench shaft. So the PCD wheel on the 7 inch hand grinder is used to quickly take away the residue of the material that the big machine could not remove as well as under that bench shaft where the grinder could not reach. So the hand grinder is able to get underneath there with that PCD wheel and do the same thing as the big machine which is to break away uh, and cut away the, the material that's built upon the concrete that the hand grinding wheel simply could not remove. Then just like with the big grinder the PCD wheel is removed and the diamond segment blade is attached. And same as the big machine, the residue will be removed by that diamond segment.
It's the same process that's being done, that was done with the large machine, but here it's being done on a hand grinder. PCD to remove the bulk, and then diamond segment to remove the residue. Part of this floor that uh, even the owner wasn't aware has two separate drains, which were discovered by the grinder uh, based on the noise it made when it was ran over. But um, same thing with the hand grinder, take away the bulk and then grind away the residue. And that's about it. This particular area had multiple layers of material on it. PCDs were used to remove the bulk material that the diamond segments could not remove on their own. And then the diamond segments, once that PCD had been used to take away the bulk, the heavy buildup, the diamond segments were able to remove the rest and create a CSP2 for a future coating demonstration that will be done uh, the following day.